I just finished a long day at work at the factory and I'm ready to meet the girls for a speakeasy night out. So continue watching if you want to learn how I got this beautiful look. First thing, I'm going to lay my brows just to make sure that I can get them nice and defined. I saw the phenomenal Lillian Geish use eyeshadows in a film and now I have my own for only 35 cents. Now that's the cat's pajamas. Okay, wait, pause. Honestly, I can't believe they were using eyeshadows for only 35 cents. You guys, that's a bargain. Okay, back. And now I'm going in with this color. And now for brows, my favorite part. I like them thin. And what I like to use is the Mascara Cake. This product right here works wonders. I covered my natural brows because thin brows are in style right now. With just a drop of water, I'm able to activate the mascara cake for my brows. Honestly, this is so weird. I can't believe they were using a brick, like a brick of application for their brows. And not just for their brows, it was for their liner and mascara. So this one thing, it was like a three in one. I'm kind of nervous to be honest, but almost this is almost as if it was a brow pomade. So, this should be fairly easy, I think. Honestly, there's really no shape for my brows. You just have to make sure that they're thin and they're wavy. Once you do that, you're all set. Now I'm going in with my same cake that I use for my brows for my lashes. Just a drop of water, honey, will do the job. Honestly, you guys, this is so much work. My hands, my fingers are so dirty. Look at this. Just for some mascara. <laughs> this is really interesting though. Like, honestly, this is very intriguing. So we're almost dolled up, ladies. I'm looking for a dapper, but the bank's closed. Now I'm going in with some blush. Us flappers would apply blush on our knees to draw attention to our bare legs because we didn't show them often. So now I'm going in with some blush for my beautiful cheeks. Now, you guys, this blush, I kid you not, is so creamy. It actually feels really, really good to apply. It's so smooth and it just melts in your skin. Take me to the 1920s right now. Lipsticks are all the rage. And to make my lips look smaller and rounder, I'm going to accentuate my Cupid's bow. So, there may be a few 49ers and I can't wait to see them tonight. So I have to make sure my lips are pouty and ready. To finish up my look, I'm going to add some final touches with some accessories. Honestly, you guys, this look is so cute. I kid you not, if I was in the 1920s, I would totally rock this look. This was so fun and informative, I kid you not. Honestly, looking at this final look, I should totally do this for like, I don't know, Halloween or a, 19, a 1920s party. You totally got this. I love this era, especially because it's not 2020. <laughs> Alrighty guys, thank you so much for staying tuned with me completing this 1920s look. I've had so much fun. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click that bell notification down below so you can be alerted with all things boxy. I don't have all day to talk love. I have a dapper to meet, so I'll see you later. Bye.